Now synthesis of aldehyde or ketone from the 1,3 diethyl. So very interesting reaction. By using this 1,3 diethyl, we can prepare aldehyde as well as ketone. Both can be prepared from 1,3 diethyl. Why it is called 1,3 diethyl? Because there is sulfur at one and third position in the ring. Because of that, it is called 1,3 diethyl. Again, I want to add a little more information that the protons, hydrogen atom present at carbon number 2 are acidic. So, you remember these two protons are acidic and this acidity of these two, two protons is utilized in this reaction. Now, first of all, you have to use a very strong base, N-butyl lithium. So, this is a base because there is a lone pair over this carbon and negative charge and lithium having positive charge. So, this is a strong base. So, this strong base can remove one proton very easily. So, this is first is uh, acid base reaction and this pair of electron is now residing over this carbon. So, this carbanion is generated. So, this is this carbon number two is a carbon acid. So, this carbanion is generated and lithium is going to join there as a Li positive and we get here Yn butyl. So, this is our first step. So, first step is acid base reaction. Second step is like SN2 reaction. So this nucleophile is attacking the primary alkyl aligned. So we need your primary alkyl line. X is removed. And because of that, we can introduce this alkyl group here in this one diethyl. Okay, if you want to stop this reaction, stop here. You do the hydrolysis. For hydrolysis, you are using mercury chloride, acidic mercury chloride. You have to use of mercury chloride and dilute acid. So hydrolysis taking place means breaking with the help of water. Now see water is H2O. So the from water two hydrogens going to S and one oxygen is joined is going to join here at carbon number two with the help of double bond. So we get here this aldehyde. So the aldehyde is produced and we get here one three diethyol as a side product. Now, if you want to introduce one more alkyl group, you can repeat that reaction, I mean that steps. So use again another molecule of N-butyl lithium. So remove this hydrogen to get this carbanion. Again, whatever alkyl group you can introduce, whatever, uh, okay. Then this alkyl group, again SN2 type attack and here we have two both hydrogen replaced with alkyl group. Now do the next step hydrolysis by using mercury chloride in aqueous acid and we get this ketone. So from water 2H you have to join on sulfur, remove that, detach that carbon number 2 and join their oxygen by using a double bond to get this ketone. So this ketone is formed. Now you can Take uh, a specific example, 1,3 diethyl is taken here. Again, the first step is similar as mentioned in the general scheme. You have to treat this with N-butyl lithium to remove this hydrogen which is present on carbon number 2. And then we get here this carbanion. This carbanion uh, you have to treat with methyl chloride if you want to at, uh, attach their methyl group. Then one methyl group is attached. Okay, I need not write here. Methyl group is attached. Then do the hydrolysis part. So the hydrogen, one hydrogen is still there. Doing the same thing, removing this two sulfur, joining two hydrogen from water and one oxygen to this carbon number two with the help of double bond to get aldehyde. Or you can remove even another hydrogen by repeating that steps by using N-butyl lithium and introducing one more methyl group and after hydrolysis, you will get this ketone. So in this way, by using one reagent, one species, one molecule, you can prepare aldehyde as well as ketone. Because of this, this is very, very interesting reaction. Thank you so much.